Hey kids, Invertical here, and welcome to Empyreon. We are playing a little game of uh, Iron Man. Basically, the rule is every person will start with the same planet seed, the same planet, same landing, same everything. And we will land on the planet, and uh, you have one death. Only one death. Uh, should you die, you are out. <laughs> Joining me on this season, uh, the host, Captain Adonis, Van Van, Lift Pizzas, Truth Seeker 22, Virus, Grandpa, <clears throat> CL Mech, Haladmare, and PJ Dog Mum, Shy Quera. So, uh, I'm thinking of flying up to space this uh, morning. You want to come along? I mean, I know it's a one seater and you'd have to sit on my lap and we can talk about, you know, whatever. Oh, never mind. Gotta go. See you when I get back, baby. <laughs> hey, kids. Invertical here, and welcome back to Imperion Iron Man. Yes, I am still undefeated. 259 kills, level 25, zero deaths. Dank. I'm coming for you. And not in a good way. Not like I do for sweet cheeks in there. <laughs> the CV requires components. That's correct. I still need parts to build guns. Uh, I need to build some more thrusters. <clears throat> it needs a... Still got to build the drill and multi-tool turret. And, um, yeah, it still needs a lot of love and some paint, as well as a few point defense turrets and such that's going to get on top. <clears throat> but, yeah, as you can see, we're mostly done most of the stuff. In order to get that kind of stuff today, I need to go hunting space drones. So... That's the objective of the day. To go find space drones and put bullets in them. Lots of bullets. Now, this isn't exactly a combat vessel by any stretch of the imagination. So I expect this to be a blast. So we'll start off with a weapons check. Wow, I think we might need to put some gas in the tanks. What do you think? <clears throat> There we go, we're gassed up, armor ammoed up, and away we go. Now, <clears throat> I have on me my armor suit with the EVA boost and two multi-boosts. It is just medium armor, so it's not really meant for getting into any kind of a real fight, but it will be sufficient for shooting stuff down from inside a cockpit and grabbing gear without dying. <clears throat> that being said, I am going to attempt to not mix it up with any of the um, uh, any of the larger vessels in space. There's, I think that's the admin center, or that's one of the alien things. I know there's a couple alien craft in space. Um, and I'd rather not play with either of them. That being said, I immediately have to show up on my thing. That's the Admin Trade Center. That's the carrier. Um, I won't fight the carrier with this, with this small vessel simply because even though I could take it out with the Dumbfire rockets, because you only got to hit it right in the nose cone there, knock out its core, it's 
the unending swarm of drones that drives me nuts. Uh, normally I just park uh, CV in front of it after I shoot out its uh, core and just let a gun turn shoot down drones while I pick up the corpses with uh, HV or with the uh, with a little portable drone. I have an alien thing on radar there. So what we're going to do is we're going to open map. Shipyard, we're going to waypoint. We're not going to show that on HUD, but we're going to waypoint it. And we're going to hit accept. And I saw... There it is. Iron asteroid. Same, same. So I'm going to continue flying around here, and I'll pick it up if I find anything fun, interesting, or otherwise, especially stuff to shoot at. I've been searching around here for about 10-15 minutes, and I have yet to find a single uh, drone anywhere in space. I don't even think there is drones in space right now. It's really bugging me. I have stumbled into this class one freighter. Now as we know that this was um, the thing that killed uh, virus uh, it, because it was glitchy. <clears throat> and I'm just, I'm kind of cruising around it here and I'm not seeing a lot of weapons fire coming off of it. I'm thinking it might be either lightly armored or lightly armed or I'm just not seeing it. Now I have 460 meters range on these dumb fire rockets. So I'm going to flip on inertial dampeners. And we're going to see if we can settle in behind this thing. Lots of little shoots coming off of it. All oh, those bullets are hurting, guys. Come on. We gotta be friends. back. Jerk. Okay, so right there.
again, are you? Not sure where the core is on this design. I haven't taken one of these apart in a very long time. that it stops moving and makes it a little bit easier. <clears throat> okay, I do believe you have no more guns. Still got some forward thrust going somewhere. Or is that just you stopping? <clears throat> okay, 
Okay, we have disabled its forward thrust. And I've got the explosion warning, so that means it is now disabled and um, <clears throat> about to auto-destruct. So, I'm going to jump out of the ship and turn on jetpacks. Oh, I hate working in things that have an artificial gravity well because they mess you up every time. Okay. <clears throat> Just going to access our ship menu real, real quick and munch on that. Now, I don't know how well you can work around on these ships because I have had nothing but problems with these stupid things since day one. Um. <clears throat> Come on, spawn it. There is no other object in the area. Look, I got two blocks of space over my head for pity's sake. Hello, can anybody direct me to the core, please? That's the... That's the warp tank, or warp drive, or warp whatever it's called. Can't open that door, it's other faction. Got generators. It's still on the core. Son, you bother me. Ooh, an enhanced rocket launcher. Great. Use that for some of those rockets and other junk that I picked up in the last mission. Something I have never once thought was an intelligent idea. Garden plots on a spaceship. Yeah, that makes absolutely no sense to me whatsoever. <clears throat> but hey, I mean, if you're out for long-term space flight, it might be a good idea to have access to fresh fruit. Shooting me from across the room like that. That's not very nice.
Reduce entry turns over there. I'll seize you. What have we got in the front? I don't see anything of interest up there, but... Okay. Mm, let's go hit number eight. Turns. I saw those really I did. Listen, I'm after flux coils and capacitors and Cosium. That's all I really want is some erstium as well, but just cosium and flux capacitors and parts like that. I get those from your uh, thrusters and other warp components. In order to get those warp components, I need to take apart your ship slightly. Well, I don't think I'm asking for much. I'm just looking for your core. Ugh. I blast my way into the bathroom. That's ridiculous. I really do hope at some point in time they actually start putting crew members on these ships, even if they are just, like, um... The idiot, um, what do you call them, guys that wander around, make noise. <clears throat> I mean, to me, it just, it kills me to see uh, things getting made that are so nice, um, but are completely void of anything resembling life or um, or occupation in any way, shape, or form. You didn't hide it behind the frickin' warp drive, did you? Found it, hidden behind the warp drive. Thank you for being so annoying. Alright, let's find our way off this damn ship. There we go. <clears throat> I'm looking for is thruster components, pieces. There we go. That's the stuff I want right there. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, guess what the next little bit's gonna be? That's right, collection of components. <clears throat> See how much of this thing we can tear apart before it despawns. Okay, I've pretty much stripped anything that I'm really interested in off of this giant floating chunk of space detris. The rest of this thing can despawn at will. Now oh, I've got my little vessel here someplace. 
Can you tell me where to find the big naval vessels? 81 flux coils. Hello, motor components that I so desperately need. Probably still need um, those oscillator chips. I think I needed a lot of them as well. That was the other thing on my shopping list. And I got 78 of those. So that's going to last me for a few com few constructions. <coughs> So there we have it, kids. Thanks all for watching. I'm going to go slap some pieces on that capital vessel and probably play around with putting some bits and parts together and maybe even some paint. Uh, while we're at it, this thing can uh, go away. Don't really care about it anymore. And like I said, I could not find any any space drones. I'm getting all these red dots showing up on my map. I don't know why these are showing up now, but okay. Map is being glitchy. Uh, I marked out some asteroids that I'd found. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm not going to go hunt any more of those. Normally one, but um, I might take out the other one later. So we're going to head back to planet and I'll see you all in the next episode. So, good night for now.